Okay, more examples. Another example of implicit differentiation. Okay, let me say I've given you something like e to the x plus y equals to sine of x plus cos of y. Okay. Now, the first method would be just to differentiate both sides straight away, implicit differentiation. And another method would be to take log on both sides, which also does not seem very reasonable. So, I'll just start differen differentiating both sides, okay? So, on the left, you have e to the x plus y, the derivative, the derivative of the exponential function is the exponential function itself. Now, use, remember the chain rule here. You have a function inside here, and you have to write the derivative of that here. And keeping in mind that y is not independent, it's changing with x. Okay, so I'll give you 1 plus the derivative of y with respect to x, dy over dx. Okay, that is nothing but implicit differentiation. It's so easy. Anyways, the right. The derivative of sine x with respect to x is simply cos x. The derivative of cos y is negative sine y, but using the chain rule again, inside you have a function of x, the derivative of that, which is dy over dx. And now the usual step, you know, club the terms together, you get e to the x plus y. Okay, I'm just opening the brackets here, dy over dx. And I'm bringing this term to the left, okay? Plus sine y dy over dx equals cos x. So let me just take out dy over dx common. So I get e to the x plus y plus sine y equals cos x. And no, just bringing this term to the right will give me negative e to the x plus y. So you got dy by dx, which is what you wanted, right? Cos x take away e to the x plus y, or e to the x plus y plus sine y. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, right. Now the example of implicit differentiation. 